Okay, guys, let's do our world famous hydrogen lab. Oh, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is one of my favorite labs that we do in chemistry class, and it takes some simple materials. So let me show you the materials that we will need. First of all, to make hydrogen gas, we need this metal called magnesium. And this is magnesium ribbon right here. I have different coils here. And it's just like a silvery metal. It's kind of lightweight. And um, I, I've torn off a couple one-inch sections of it that we are going to use in this experiment. <clears throat> and I have both of them right here. So that's my two pieces of magnesium. Magnesium is a metal on the periodic table. It's element number 12. And um, I need a liquid. So uh, for this chemical reaction, I only need two ingredients. I need the magnesium metal, and I need a liquid that you're familiar with. It's called vinegar. So I got it out of this tub. It do doesn't matter what type, really, just regular white vinegar. Um, yeah, there's other colors of vinegar, but it, white is best so you can see what's going on. Okay, and the only other thing that I need is a balloon. So I've got uh, little water balloons. They work perfectly for this because they fit on this little test tube that I have. So um, I'm going to use a water balloon to collect the hydrogen gas. So here we go. I'm going to put the magnesium in. I've already pre-poured the vinegar into this little test tube. So watch what happens. As soon as I put the magnesium in, it starts bubbling like crazy. You can even hear it if you listen to the microphone. Okay, now I got to put the balloon on. I'm going to carefully put the balloon on without tearing it, and it's going to immediately start filling with hydrogen gas. So all those bubbles are hydrogen gas. So look, check it out now. The whole test tube has filled with hydrogen gas. And look at the balloon. The balloon. Oh, it's loading up with hydrogen gas. Check that out. And I can hear it fizzing rapidly. So that is loaded with fizzing bubbles. It's hard to tell in here. I can't bring the camera too close, but it is fizzing crazily. Also, it's getting warm. I'm trying to separate the magnesium. It is getting warm too, which means, you know, something that I've taught you about chemical reactions, if they get hot or warm, it means that they are either exothermic or endothermic. Remember that? It's still fizzing like crazy. Look at the balloon. The balloon is filling up with hydrogen gas. Now, hydrogen gas is colorless and odorless. You can't see it. You can't smell it. But you would know if it's, an, if it's around you if you lit a match. Or a lighter it would explode so hydrogen when mixed with oxygen and if you have a flame um, it will go through a chemical reaction that's exothermic that will produce water so hydrogen will burn in the presence of oxygen and it will make water and it will give off an explosion of flame and I can still hear it the, the test tube I'm trying to make sure the balloon stays on. The test tube is warm. It's getting pretty warm. It's like hotter than body temperature. And when I started it, it was cooler than, uh, it was like tap water. So the water was kind of cold. You can see the magnesium at the bottom. The, the test tube is loaded with bubbles. And look at the balloon now. That is pure hydrogen gas in there. Well, there's a little bit of air, a tiny bit of air, but that is mostly hydrogen gas in the form of H2. So each molecule is a hydrogen bonded to itself. Okay, I'm almost ready. Look at how fast the gas forms. Still bubbling vigorously, crazily. And I can hear it. I don't know. I'm going to put it to the can you hear that? 
Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but still, oh, you can see the bubbles there. It's bubbling like crazy. And the balloon's getting bigger. In about one more minute, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go turn the lights off so you can see what's going to happen when I'm ready. All right, I think it's starting to slow down. The bubble is bubbles are starting to slow down. Okay, it's still warm. Oh yeah, it's even warmer now. Now there's the magnesium and see the bubbles coming off of it. Oh yeah, but the bubbles are starting to calm down. So I think we're just about reaching our limit with how much hydrogen gas we can make. Okay, I'm gonna grab the balloon, watch this. I'm gonna grab the balloon off of here and try not to release any hydrogen gas. Okay, it's still bubbling like crazy. Listen to the sound. Can you hear that? Okay, now I still have the hydrogen gas here. See that, that's all hydrogen gas. I'm gonna go turn off the light because I'm going to prove to you it's hydrogen gas. I'm going to light it on fire with this lighter. So I'm going to turn off the lights. And I'm turning down the lights more. I'm going to make it dark in here. Okay, that's, oh, that'll do it. <clears throat> okay, here we go for the grand finale. Oh, I'm a little scared. I'm going to light this hydrogen on fire. Okay, so let's see. I'll do it like that. It's going to, the flame's going to come out that way. So here we go. Let me turn on. There's the fire. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was loud. That was crazy. I just burned that hydrogen gas instantly and it turned into water in the form of steam. So now that hydrogen is, is now built into water molecules. It combined with oxygen in the air and it is now floating around the air as steam. All right. I hope you enjoyed the lab. Have a good day.